Hey guys, Babatu Nomotao here. So today's video is about how to do your M active dial push option not showing. A lot of people have been having issue with their M active. This video I'm going to show you how you are going to do that. Without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. All right, first thing first is to know that there are some smartphones that doesn't work well with M active app right now. So smartphone like Samsung. Xiaomi and some Vivo don't work with M Active app now because it has some issues. So the developer will be updating that soon. Secondly, is that you shouldn't use MediaTek smart device app with M Active app. It's not going to let the dive push option to show up. Okay. So with that two being said, those are the two common things that always stop the M Active dive push option not showing. So let's start with this this smartwatch w26 plus w26 and other mediatek smart devices have two bluetooth so let's start with the settings right now so we start with the connection of the bluetooth and then we are going to see how it's going to pop up the dial push option so first thing is to go to the setting you swipe left to the settings as you can see then you bring out this logo here this logo that looks like Wi-Fi, okay, then you select it. Once you select it, you see search device, all right? When you see this search device option here, then you select it. Okay, it's going to tell you to power on the Bluetooth first, okay? Then you select yes, okay? And it will switch on the Bluetooth of this smartwatch. Once you switch on the Bluetooth of this smartwatch, it will be ready to search for any Bluetooth nearby. Now, you can go to your smartphone and swipe down. If you are using an Android like me, then you switch on your Bluetooth. Okay? Your Bluetooth, your data, and your GPS or your location. Okay? These are the three things you need for it to sync up with this. Now, you go back to the smartwatch as you can see it's still searching so i'm going to cancel this and let it research because i just on the bluetooth all right so it's going to search for it let's wait for a minute now it has popped up the name of my phone here and the mac address so i'm going to select that As you can see, it says pairing request tab to pair with watch 6. So I'm going to select the pair and connect option. It brings out some digits, pair with watch 6, then you select pair. Make sure you select access your contact and call H32. So once you do that, you are going to see connecting on your smartwatch. This sign shows that it is connected to the first Bluetooth. Okay. If you swipe down, you see this blue icon here. All right. So that means it has been connected to the first Bluetooth. Now, to connect it to the second Bluetooth, you have to open your MRTF app. So you select your MRTF app and open it up. Then you see some messages. If you just downloaded the MRTF app, you are going to see all these messages. Make sure you give MRTF app the required permission so that it's going to give you free access to these watch potentials okay so you have to grant mrtv app all the access all the permission just click on complete and yes and you see everything you know pop up nicely for you all right so you can see here the notification access page you select your mrtv app and toggle it on allow notification access for mrtv app then you select allow then you press the go back key down here and you agree to other messages that comes up okay allow for the sms settings now you go to the dashboard here right under the dashboard you see some options home spot device and mine so you select the device option as you can see right here there is no option coming up uh, dial push option is not showing yet. So this is what you have to do Our watch is still here is on is okay. All right, so you select the add device option here, okay? 
So you have a prompt message here. You agree to it just to authorize the location permission. You authorize it. You agree. Allow MRTVAR to access the device location you allow. Okay, as you can see, our watch six has appeared here. So now you have to connect it by tapping it here. Once you tap it, you see connecting. All right. So when you see connecting, as you can see, it has changed to connected. That means our watch six has been connected to this Voila. You can see our watch face push option just showed up without any stress. Okay. So that is how to do your M active die push option not showing. Once you just connect the two Bluetooth, this watch face push option will show up. Let me just show you how you are going to use it to change your watch face very, very fast. Another pop up message here you agree to it. Now allow him to picture to take your picture and record video. So you select allow. It says I agree and Please authorize storage permission. Agree to that also. Allow you to access your photo, medias, and files on your device. Allow. Now you are at the dice center, so you can change it to any one of your choices here. Okay, so let's try one of these and we'll go with the others. So let me first of all change. Let's use this one, this Mickey. All right. So, once you see the watch face option pop up, that is the one that you want, the preferred one, you select this start syncing. This option here, you select it. You have to select it. Select. Start syncing. You now see, please wait. Okay? So, within some couple of minutes, you are going to see this um, bar coming up. Right. It has come up here. As you can see, it's loading together. Okay? So, once it's complete, you are going to see this Mickey watch face right on a smartwatch face. Okay. It's coming up. All right. Boom. Can you see that? Our Mickey watch face is now showing on a W26 Plus smartwatch. It's as easy as that. And if you have any issue or any question, please, you can go back to the video. Just go to the... Um, places that you omit if you miss any step you are not going to get what i just got okay so now if you want to change your watch face which is a, which is what i know most people are here for so you can just go to your custom die select the custom die option up there and select reset okay once you select reset it's going to reset this watch as you can see what shows up right now it's right on this smartphone okay now select the option select okay now it will show up your gallery your photo gallery so you can pick any of your photos i'm going to pick one of my images here and complete action using editor i'll pick just once so i'll advise you to shrink this up a bit so that it won't take too much space on your smartwatch because this smartwatch has just a very short memory okay very small memory so you have to shrink it up a bit and just try to resize it so that it won't take much space then once you are done you click the tick option up here okay as you can see file save successfully and it's bringing it up okay now you click on the start syncing select the start syncing option select it you can see the response says please wait so you have to just wait for it for some minutes and not minutes actually just wait for it for some seconds and it will start loading as you can see here the bar on the watch and the bar on the smartphone okay so let me just fast forward this place so that we can get over this loading All right, so can you see that? Now I have my watch face on my W26 Plus smartwatch. So that is how to do your 
M active type push option not showing. It's as easy as that. And if you have any question, please drop it down there in the comment section. And if you really find this video helpful, please remember to subscribe to the channel and I will give you more of these related videos. I remember Baton de Motayo. And please see the next video on your screen right now to see how to do more. Stay safe. Peace.